video tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how you can turn an image such as this via Image Trace and via the Stipplism plugin into a sort of hand drawn image. Now, very basic thing, of course, you can use many different strokes than this one. I'm just going to go with a very basic stroke, just a straight line, and going to add black, and it's a one point. So I'm just going to now select that and drag that over into the symbols palette. That's the start point of the whole thing. Now, just remove that. Here's the image I'm actually going to use. Now, next thing to do is turn that into an image trace. So image trace, click that, and just go there to the settings. I don't want that. So you can hardly see any of the image at all. So I'm just going to change it a little bit. You can tweak it, obviously, to what you feel happy with. And once you've decided, OK, that's it, reasonable, just go over there and select that. Now, you don't have to convert it or anything. You can just work straight from this. So you've got the design there. And just go then to Effect and Stipplism and Symbol Stipple. Now, there's only one symbol there. So there's the actual new symbol just selected there. Set the preview on. And you'll see straight away, you can actually see the design there. Just straight lines there. But the best setting probably for this, if you actually want to create a nice sort of follow the curves of the the image just is rotation for now that actually puts it pushes it out in a way that particularly might not want if you've got a straight line upwards just set it to 90 so you can actually now see that that follows the line of the design so you can actually see the face sort of basically coming back in again and you can modify the density so you can just see more and more of that and of course you can actually modify scales so you can actually add a bit of variation there and you modify the gain of quality as well. You can modify that if you wish, but you can go push it up. And obviously, it's, it's a bit going to be a bit slower. You've got the density, and you can go to the final stage and you see the general. I'll reduce that down a little bit more. Right. And also, what you can do, you can also colorize it as well as sample. So you can actually select colorize and maybe make that into pink instead. Of course you could change the colour of the original symbol as well. Click OK. And now of course you can actually do this a couple of times, maybe apply three, four, five, six times, add them on top of each other so you can create a sort of very interesting sort of layered sort of sketch design so it doesn't have to be just single one colour. Probably do that in another video. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.